stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Um, so this is very heartening for me because Japan's legal system is very traditional. Um, as you know, in Asia, only one territory allows same-sex marriage, and that's Taiwan. Um, wait, or the other one? I'm not sure if Vietnam is fully ano na, pero konti lang talaga. So Japan is very traditional, and the fact that there was this decision by a judge saying that a ban on same-sex <laughs> marriages is unconstitutional is already a victory. But I just want to point out, though, I mean, it's great. We should celebrate this. Um, with our Japanese friends, but it doesn't mean that automatically same-sex couples can get married in Japan because a lot of times, kilangan ng uh, implementing law for these things. Eh. So, ang sinabi kasi ng Japanese judge or court is that a ban is unconstitutional. So, bawal iban. So, dahil hindi bawal siya iban, therefore, in theory, pwede siya, de ba? Pero in order to allow it, kilangan ng implementing law. Like ano ba yung sistema? Ano ba yung procedure? So until that happens, uh, the Japanese um, uh, uh, lawmakers enact a law for this. Then I don't see same-sex marriages happening in Japan anytime soon. But this is definitely a step in the right direction. And, um, but so I highly suggest for our viewers if you can find online uh, a place to watch of Love and Law then please yeah. do. It's a really heartwarming, um, a very enlightening documentary. I, I guess, again, we, we need more visibility in, in different areas. Like, you know, having that in the comic, you know, Marvel collection, na merong gay Captain America, oh, it gives us, I guess, that's diversity, I guess, that's that's giving space for others uh, who have always been, you know, be, behind the scene, in the dark, and... Uh, if I feel like I'm a, a comics uh, person and I see that my God, uh, wow, it's so it's so good to have that kind of representation it, by Marvel, right? Okay? Yeah. As, as a character with superpowers and all. So, Where, so the intention to siguro um to to pay tribute is there, but it's not really linked to you know representation and um. See Harry Styles did also exactly. a cover, a Gucci, de ba? A Vogue cover. Mm. Um, pero yun tama na bakalang rin um dapat we we look beyond then kung ano yung salabas, but more of the intention. Ano bang intention nila? Why they are doing this? Uh, but I agree, it's it's a it's a global platform. So still representation, visibility for for people of you know um diverse soji so good pa rin, I, I guess um yeah work is a way at least it applies to me of keeping my mental health in check because it gives me you know something to look forward to a structure um mm-hmm. so I, going back to the dating one the five-year relationship the ex-girl uh, the friend of evan um she was with me in the early transition phases mm-hmm. um she was with me in the early transition phases she was with, with me when i started looking for doctors who will help me medically transition and guide me through my transition. She was there. Um, she was also there to, what do you call this? Um, get me into the right mindset or headspace because that's very important. Eh? It's very important to be in the right headspace when you actually start to transition. Um, and then sadly, we ha- um, sadly didn't work out between the two of us. Um, but right now, like, it's been, it's, I've been, I've been blessed with the people who are around me. I am, you know, I may not be in a relationship with someone mm-hmm. specific, but the relationship that I have with my colleagues, my boss, my friends who are very supportive, um, the people who I train with, the people I bike with. You know, I've been really, really blessed with them because they've always been super supportive of me. Na, you know, like, okay, you're trans, and then what? That's true. Okay. It's not as if it's not as if you're not the same person that we've met how many right. years, like we, that we haven't hung out with, that hasn't seen us all naked because at one point I was the only one who was not drunk and everybody else is drunk. So you have to take care of people. So everybody's, you know. So it the people around me were super supportive in a sense that Okay, trans ka, and then, wala namang nagbago. You're still the same person. 
yung yep. sabi, there's one guy who said like even if you identified as a goat we'd still be friends <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think it's the, your story makes it really um, brings to the forefront the importance of that. Eh, na parang for a generation of young trans trans men, like Elliot Page will be their person. Oop, it's possible, pala, yes. to yeah. be a trans man, de ba? Mm. Because you remember you, you said earlier na parang you didn't have any male version of like you know yung mga trans women and all. So yeah. ayun, at least with Elliot there, and I don't want to say naman na parang putting all this pressure na parang Elliot will be will carry the whole trans masculine community on her shoulders. Pero at least she gives people an image and an idea of that particular identity. Yeah. Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. And I've been wanting to do a lot more of these talks. Because there's not a lot of trans men who are out there and actually talking about things. Yeah. Yes. Um, it, you always see trans women it's doing It's not much things. of a big deal because they don't really... I don't think they fully understand it. So they don't make a big deal out of it. So But when... Ano, Somehow it's a it's still I know it's still sad because you're like you're surrounded by people that don't fully understand you. Parang they're just there they they tolerate your existence but I don't think they deeply understand your I know where you're coming from or your story or your identity. So they're just there. They just look at you and they're just they just feel like I know like your any other gay person out there, kanon. Being trans should never hinder you from pursuing what you want. It never did for me. Um, you know, we may have very different, we may have very different um, backgrounds in terms of your support, your community, or the community where you where you where you interact. Pero it should never be a hindrance. Um, tapos na tayo dun sa tapos na tayo dun sa sense na kailangan overachievers para i-compensate yung pagiging part mo ng LGBTQIA. Yeah. Tapos na tayo dun. Once you're once you actually put or do really really good work, great work. Your the way that you you identify will not even be secondary. People will not even bat an eyelash. And I know this for a fact because, yes, blood, sweat, and tears. Like I'm 11 years into practice. There's been blood. There's been sweat. There's been tears. There's been nights that you don't sleep because you need to get, you know, you need to get to point A, to point B, to point C, to point B, all in one day. You need to juggle four jobs in one day. You know, that's fine. But it never was. It should never really be. That's part of the job, the money. Everybody, even cisgendered people, have to go through that. If they want to be at the top of their game, they have to go through that. Nagkataon lang na trans ako. Did I ever use my, my me being trans as an excuse? Yes, at one point because I really didn't know what to do anymore. But after, like, uh, somebody spoke to me about it and told me, like, why are you making? Why are you using that as, as an, an, an excuse? And why are you telling yourself that? You should actually celebrate it because after everybody else doubting you, that you will not, and telling you you will not make a name for yourself because you're trans, nobody's gonna hire you because you're trans, everybody's just going to think that you're gonna molest girls because you're trans. And it's like, hello, you're here, you're at the top of your game, you're helping a whole lot more other people, you know? And it should never be, it, never, like, should, tapos na nga tayo dun sa overachiever ko, okay, top ako ng ganito, ano, CEO ako, kasi nga, but, eh, kasi, kaya siya CEO, kasi sobrang galing nga, eh, bading naman siya, eh, ano ngayon kung bading siya, eh, ano ngayon kung trans siya, eh, ano yun kung trans woman siya, attorney naman siya, how many attorneys do you, how many, how many people have tried to take the bar exam and actually not pass? And here we have a trans woman, a sister, who's actually passed it, you know? And she's there. She's beautiful. She's there. She knows what she's doing, you know? 
That's true. Yes, starting off with her in her career and mind you, watch her space. She's gonna create a whole lot more and she's gonna she's gonna be a trailblazer. We have Kino who's a lawyer for how many years? Did it did him being uh, him being gay, did it stop him from being a lawyer, from passing the board exam or the bar exam? It, no. it shouldn't stop you from pursuing your dreams, your pa- what you're passionate Talaga. about. Because I was thinking kasi na, if I didn't become someone or a professional, especially as a lawyer, parang I felt like I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be treated fairly or at par with everyone else. So I had to Parang I had to achieve this para to achieve a certain level of parang respect like what everyone gets. So that's I that's my main thrust talaga while ano pursuing the profession. At the same time, I was I wasn't just thinking of myself. I was thinking of bringing the entire community with me because I knew na pag matapos ko to at pag naging lawyer ako, people will immediate, immediately think na we are also, we are capable of, you know, achieving these or attaining professions like this that were conventionally, especially the law profession, no? Historically, it's male-dominated. So, parang, ano, it's something that I really wanted to challenge myself and at the same time, bring the community with me. Now we can do this. Ayon. So yes. another thing then is ayon. Pag nan pag nakuha ko na yung license as a lawyer, I have a bigger voice. I have a bigger platform and influence in sharing. Ano? In sharing my advocacies, di ba? It's a it's a weapon talaga to ano yes. para ma share yung advocacies ko and ma push through siya. Tell us in the comment. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.